Well, it is a beautiful, beautiful day in Kansas today. I uh, am out here outside the ever helpful and always available Holiday Inn in Colby, Kansas. Oh, God, yesterday was trash. I apologize if the audio is a little off. Uh, <laughs> Pink Turbo was gracious enough to give me her audio cable in exchange for me buying her a new one since I lost my old one. But um, unfortunately the cable had already been bent and once you bend that cable and it exposes the interior shielding, um, especially at speed, it just continues to bend until ultimately this morning, sometime between when I stopped recording yesterday and today, it broke. So yeah, that's kind of a, that's kind of a problem. Uh, camera's all set up. I got the chain ghetto lubed and uh, I've got uh, air pressure check. We're all fueled up and ready to go. But yeah, I mean, the combination yesterday of just the wind, the cold, no sun, and then ultimately a complete downpour, um, it just did me in. I mean, I, I, pull off, I pulled off the highway and my whole body was shaking bad enough that I was even, I was starting to get worried that I was gonna momentarily lose concentration and drop the bike. And uh, so I've been so apprehensive about checking in at hotels because the bike is incredibly vulnerable and that's where bikes get stolen is at hotels. So I mean, ultimately um, I was kind of scoping out some of the hotels over in this area. I came here first because this one was farthest from the highway, even though the highway is there but there's a big frontage road. And uh, I saw a cruiser parked up front right up here. And so I thought, okay, well one, there's already a bike there. And two, it's pretty obvious they're bike friendly. And so I went in and, and checked with the receptionist and she said that the desk was manned 24 hours a day and I was more than free to park my bike there. And so even though it was, it was like a $120 room because all they had were two queens available yesterday afternoon, I was it was a small price to pay for knowing that the bike was gonna be a okay um, so that's pretty much where we're at at this point so because I don't have a microphone cable there's not going to be a lot of vlogging on the road unfortunately the route today is gonna be from Colby to Kansas City where I'm gonna meet up with Dodge Rider um, I'm expecting to be there probably around 4 30 or 5 in the evening hopefully with any luck I can give everybody enough advance notice that we can maybe get together and have dinner just offload, offload the shit, hop on the bike, go and get something to eat. Because um, it'd be really cool to see some of the Kansas City vloggers. So, um, unfortunately, not a lot of vlogging on this trip. So, I hope you guys enjoy the, the time-lapse photography of the trip and maybe a little bit of music. Uh, so, I'm going to get this party started. So, I'll see you guys on the other side when I... Uh,
and I'm with Roscoe, I'm with Waka, I think I deserve a chance. Alright, well everybody, welcome to Hayes, Kansas. Obviously another other rest stop here. Weather's looking pretty good. I have about uh, almost 200 miles exactly until I hit Topeka. Swapping over to the, the gauntlets because it's still a little nippy at speed and it's not a big deal for short trips, but part of the problem is uh, you get those, you know, I'm, I'm on the bike, you know, it's over 100 miles, so I'm on the bike like a solid 90 minutes at least, and you sort of slowly, slowly lose that core temperature until you get to the point where you're really cold. I think I'm pretty sure I almost got accosted by a Mexican looking cowboy in the bathroom. Shell station right here. Uh, Shane? Yeah. Todd? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, man. Thanks for meeting me. I knew I was getting I was getting a little close and I was like I was like trying to remember exactly where you had told me earlier that you were gonna meet me, and so I thought, oh, I'll just put it up on Facebook and you probably get a hold of me, so I'm glad you saw it. Hey, little little bit of paradise here. Yeah, you can hop on the freeway right here. Oh, sweet. That'll work out perfectly. Yeah, my buddy's got like a... Uh, my buddy's got like a damn near mint condition 99 R1. No shit. Yeah, it's fucking beautiful. <laughs> and of course, it's Yamaha Blue. Oh, nice. Like, the, the paint is... All right, this is my uh, this is my first my first experience with uh, getting a ticket. Haven't gotten rained on yet, yeah, so that's a good thing. there you go. You take plastic. How's your day going? 
Oh, is that a good thing or a bad thing? Bad thing. Oh, sorry to hear that. Good. <laughs> you want this or? No thanks, audience. Don't need that. What's that? Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Thank you. Oh, get in there. Take care. Oh, that was a that was a nice gentleman. So yeah, that's my first uh, my first full road experience. here in Kansas obviously and I think I'm about to legally run my very first red light as I believe watching Lori Jennifer that she commented that uh, Kansas state law is if you wait a reasonable amount of time at a red light on a motorcycle and it doesn't fucking change then I can run it oh uh, that's okay I'd rather not run a red light in a far away state. I haven't been to a BP in years. All the BPs used to be the old, uh, used to be all the old mobiles. <laughs> Oh, all right, this one takes charge. <laughs> when you got three different pumps, I get suspicious. Oh, just chill out, honey. Almost there. It's a beautiful day today. The weather is a shitload better than it was yesterday. Kind of give you guys an idea of how all this is working. Ooh, 414, Jesus. It's fucking highway robbery. Are you kidding me? No, oh, press the start button. Jesus. 414 for gas, fuck. Of course, I'm sure some of you European guys are laughing at me right now. It's four, four. So cheap. Where you guys live, it's like $100 a gallon. Ooh. Favorite song on uh, Pandora. 